Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here at Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Vegas Pro tutorial for you. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you my Scrapyard Films Molotov Cocktail, which is basically a big list of instructions on how to fix the most common problems and a lot of problems that Vegas throws your way every once in a while. Just a reminder, at the time of recording this video, I am super close to 10,000 subscribers, and once I hit that, I'm gonna be giving away a free LUT pack for all of the people watching and anybody who just knows my channel exists. They can download it for free, it's gonna have a bunch of awesome filters on there, that you can make your video look really cool. And finally, if you wanna skip around in this video, I'm gonna timestamp all the steps in the description below so you don't have to watch the whole thing and kinda of like pick and choose, you can just easily click those links. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Step one, update Vegas. Most of the time when people are experiencing any kind of issues as for like missing plugins or an effect isn't working right, it's simply because Vegas isn't updated. So the quickest way to update Vegas is go to Vegas Pro's subreddit. The URL is reddit.com forward slash r forward slash Vegas Pro. When you get to this beautiful subreddit, go up to the top and you'll see the new official wiki. Click on that and you'll see a bunch of useful information. Scroll down until you see direct downloads for Vegas installers and then download the Vegas build. This list is kept up to date for all of Magic's Vegas Pros, and the direct download comes directly from Magic's themselves. Step two, updating your codex. If you've ever tried to drag and drop an audio or video file into Vegas and it doesn't know what it is, like it's not able to read it, that's usually because a codec is required for Vegas to understand it. You can easily download a giant mega pack of codecs through Ninite, a trusted website that gives you a bunch of common installers and helps you quickly install them. So head over to Ninite.com, scroll down, find K-Lite Kodak Pack, check the box, scroll down more, and then click Get Ninite. It'll download Ninite's installer, and then double click it. What it's going to do is download the codecs through K-Lite's servers. Once it's finished installing, your computer and a bunch of other programs are going to be able to read more file types. Step 3. Clean the temp files out of your computer. If you've ever noticed Vegas acting slow or crashing during rendering and other little problems like that, a good fix to do is clean your temporary files out. That'll basically give Vegas room to breathe and act better. You can easily do this using a program called CCleaner. And to get it, go to Google, type in CCleaner Portable, find the link and under there make sure it's the official CCleaner website. Find CCleaner Portable and download it. Once you've extracted it, run the program. Click on custom clean and everything checked in both of these tabs is what's going to be deleted. Now by default everything checked is okay to be deleted and your computer will still run and function fine, but just go through it and uncheck what you don't want and check what you do. Click on the analyze button. Once it's done it'll tell you how much things need to go and how much room it's going to free up. Then click run cleaner and then all those files are gone. After this Vegas should run a lot better and also your computer should run a lot better. Step number four, changing some of Vegas's internal settings to make it run better. Now, instead of cramming six minutes of quality contents, I actually made a tutorial on this already, and I'm gonna link that in the description below. But these three steps make Vegas run dramatically better. And I don't wanna skimp out on the details here. So check the description below for the link to that video. Step five, another way to allow Vegas to read video files. If you've already updated your codex and you're still not able to drag and drop videos in there, Go to where Vegas is installed, and typically that's in C, Program Files, Vegas, Vegas Pro 17, and inside there you're going to see a folder called File IO Plugins. Double click that and look for a folder called Compound Plug. Click on it, and then rename it to something else. I'm just going to put Old. Once you're done, that should allow Vegas to read those video files. Step 6. If you still can't import video files into Vegas, or the video files you import are kind of acting weird, look weird, or sound weird, then the next thing you can do is convert your video file to a compatible mp4 format using the program Handbrake. Now again, I already made a detailed tutorial about this, so I'm going to link that in the description so I don't condense 6 minutes of a good tutorial and leave out some important details for you. So I'll link that in the description below as well. Step 7. If you've ever tried to drag and drop an audio file into Vegas and you get some weird loud screeching, that's usually because that audio file is created with a faulty codec. And typically this happens with MP3s. So the best way to do that is convert it to a WAV file. You can do that using this free program called Audacity. Open up a browser and go to audacityteam.org. Download and install it, and once you have the program loaded up, it'll look like this. I have the faulty MP3 file on my desktop, and I'm just going to drag and drop it into Audacity. 
Once it's loaded, go to File, Export, and choose Export Wave. Name it whatever you want, and then hit Save. Once you've saved it, use this WAV file as your audio file, and that should fix the terrible audio. Step 8. Factory Resetting Vegas This usually fixes a bunch of glitches inside Vegas, including UI issues, so you can easily do this by finding your Vegas desktop link, holding Ctrl and Shift on your keyboard, and then double-clicking the desktop link, while not letting go of Ctrl and Shift. After a second, you'll see a pop-up that says, Do you want to reset all of Vegas' features? Go ahead and check that box, then hit Yes and then it's going to load Vegas like it's being loaded for the very first time. This is going to reset the display and the UI, but all your saved plugins are all going to be there still. So if you have any saved presets, they'll all be safe. Step 9. Uninstall and reinstall Vegas. Sometimes this is the best option. You can easily do this by right-clicking on the Windows icon on the bottom left, then select Apps and Features. That'll load up all of your installed programs, scroll down to Vegas, select it, and then click Uninstall. Once it's done, you go ahead and reinstall Vegas. You can go back to step one of this video to find out how to download the latest version of Vegas Pro. And then once it's fully installed, you're ready to go. Step 10, contacting Magic Support. If none of these steps helped you out and you're still experiencing some weird issues, maybe with activation or the program just crashing randomly, you know, just something odd, you can contact Magix and they can do their best to help you out. Now there's two ways of contacting Magix. One is through email and the other one's through a chat. You can only initiate chat during their business hours, but from my personal experience, chat is the best way to go. You get real-time help from experts. So I'm going to put their support link in the description below. And there you go. You have now seen the entire Scrapyard Films Molotov cocktail. I hope these steps helped you out, and if they did, be sure to shoot a like down there, maybe even subscribe too. And if they didn't, go in the description below, go to the Vegas Pro subreddit, and ask your question there. Our community would be more than happy to help you out. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. And I also want to thank all of my scrappers, especially my super scrappers, LMC, HPL Gamers, and Walter Heenan.